No one investigates like News 4. How would you feel if the power went out during a life-saving treatment and there was no backup power? The News 4 investigates team has been asking the same questions and has some information that you may not know. Good evening to you. Dialysis is a life-saving treatment for some 400,000 people with kidney failure in this country. Yet, as our News 4 Investigates team told you at 5, having a backup power generator on site is not required here in New York State. Now, Luke Moretti continues our investigation now. Yeah, Jackie, imagine being hooked up to a dialysis machine when the power goes out and there's no backup system. That can and does happen. It's an emergency. You want to just get their blood back. And I was taken to on. the emergency room and basically within a couple hours they said I was in a renal failure. Daryl Ashford has been on dialysis for a couple of years. He says the power went out during a treatment at this U.S. renal care facility in the town of Tonawanda around the holidays and says there was no immediate backup power available. I'm there dialyzing. I'm trying to get the toxins out of my body. I'm trying to get the extra fluids off. Dr. Brad Truax is a patient safety consultant. If I look at it from the standpoint of a patient, I, I would be very reluctant to get dialysis in a place that did not have a backup system uh, in, in place. If the power goes out and there's no backup generator, the dialysis machine stops. Blood left in the tubing can be returned to the patient's body manually using a hand crank. Ashford says he waited about a half hour to 45 minutes for the power to come back on. But he says it never did. Having been dialyzed for only about an hour, Ashford says he was sent home. What would you think when they told you to go home? Well, I, I'm like, wow. Did, did they have you hand crank the blood back? Or? Uh, no, they did that, I they believe. They did it? Yeah. I was just sitting there. The interruption meant Ashford had to be extra vigilant about what he ate and drank until his next dialysis treatment a couple of days later. U.S. Renal Care operates three centers in the area. None of the locations have backup power. The company tells News 4 Investigates that a power outage did occur on December 22nd and that patients were instructed to continue their treatment at another facility or come back the next day. A spokesperson for U.S. Reno Care states that it has contingency plans in place in the event of a power outage and that it's moving forward with plans to install a generator. In New York State, there is no requirement for dialysis facilities to have backup power generators. Here at Comprehensive Dialysis Center of Western New York in Williamsville, they're not taking any chances with power outages. The facility has a permanent backup generator that really came in handy during the October 2006 storm. Every time we use it, we keep saying, I'm so glad we have it because it really is a lifesaver. Um, can you imagine um, running a facility like this without having backup power? I, I don't have anything to compare it with, but it would only seem logical that it would really be very disruptive. Now, at least 11 states in the nation require dialysis facilities to have backup power. Could New York State be the next? Tonight at 11, we'll hear from one Buffalo area lawmaker who thinks it's a no-brainer and plans to do something about it. Luke Moretti, News 4. Well, which Western New York dialysis clinics have backup power and which ones don't? You can find that and several other extra pieces of information related to the story on the Investigates page of WIVB.com.